In this Revit tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can save a schedule that you've already set up in one project, save it to an external file, and then utilize it on a different project. So for this demonstration, I'm going to work with a door schedule. So you can see I've got a very simple project here, four walls with a number of doors in. Now I've already set up the door schedule, so let's go and take a look at that now. So there is our door schedule. If I just open the schedule properties, let's just take a look at our schedule here. So these are the parameters that we've got in our door schedule. So family and type, width, height, door panel thickness, count and level. Grouping and sorting, I've set it to sort by the family and type. I'm having a blank line between each different family and type and I'm having grand totals and total count set at the bottom. Appearance, I've customized some of this, got wide lines as an outline. Now the actual details of how I've set my schedule up are not important. The concept is that you've spent some time setting up a schedule, be it a door schedule or any other type of schedule, um, and you've given some thought to what you want in it, how you want it formatted, how you want it grouped, sorted, etc. And rather than recreate this from scratch in a new project, you want to be able to take this sort of snapshot of these settings and utilize it in a, in a new project. So that's what we're going to do now. So all we need to do, once we've got our schedule set up how we want it in one project, is go to File, Save As, Library, and if you click on the little button to get the the drop down there, it's a view. So select view. You will now get a save views property box which shows you all the views in your project which can be saved outside of this project as a separate file. So because we had the schedule open, it's automatically selected that for us. So it's a schedule and it's the door schedule. Click OK. Now Revit's actually going to use a Revit project, i.e. a .rvt file, as the container, if you like, to save this view externally from this project. So I'm just going to go to my computer. I'm going to stick it in Downloads so we know where it is. I'm going to leave it called Door Schedule. Again, just note it is a Revit project file, so it's got a .rvt file extension. Save. And that's done. So what I'm going to do now is close down this project that we're working in. Just to show you that we will be starting a brand new project. So new, stick with architectural template. So here is a blank project. And you can see under schedules we've got the default Autodesk room schedule from their template. But we haven't got the door schedule. So let's now bring that back in from where we saved it. To do so, we go to Insert, and we Insert from File, and it's Views from a File. We go and find in the Downloads folder, and there it is, Door Schedule, hit Open. Now what will happen when I do this, when I hit the Open button now, it will interrogate this file and it will show me a list of all the views that are, um, are contained within it that can be imported into this current project. So let's do that now. Hit open. And in that particular project, then we only have the schedule that can be brought in. But with this method, you can see that you can actually create um, a separate Revit project that acts as a library, as a container that could contain um, all your standard different schedule types, 2D details, etc. So let's bring in the door schedule now. Hit OK. And you can see it gets added to the schedule group. And here it is set up. Note it's not going to bring the actual elements or the, the detail of the scheduling because that's specific to the project. What it's captured is the um, the formatting, if you like, the properties of the schedule itself, what parameters were chosen, in what order, any grouping and sorting. So, again, if I flip there, you can see family and type as we set up before. So, it saves you a lot of time uh, recreating schedules. 
particularly obviously complex schedules, door schedules, window schedules, etc., where you spent a lot of time setting up all the parameters, the grouping and sorting, any conditional formatting, etc. Um, don't reinvent the wheel. Save that snapshot of your schedules as a separate file and store it away so you can use them on other projects. I hope you enjoyed this Revit architecture video. If so, please hit the like button. If you'd like to be notified when new videos are released, please subscribe to this channel. And to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF ebooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.